Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about pedigree analysis. This will be the first quarter topic, week 3, day 4, and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the patterns of inheritance through pedigree analysis. The second one is to perform activity called pedigree analysis to describe the patterns of inheritance. And the third one is to appreciate the significance of heredity in shaping an individual's physical and psychological character characteristics by answering the guide questions. For developing and deepening of understanding, so let us start with the question, what are genes? So it is a fundamental unit of heredity and genes are segments of DNA that serve as a fundamental unit of heredity containing instructions for the development, functioning, and inheritance of traits in organisms. The second one is that genes are like the tiny instructions that pass from parents to children that shape certain traits or features in the children. Gregor Mendel, he is considered as the father of genetics for his works on heredity. When we talk about dominant versus recessive traits, dominant it is a genetic trait that is expressed when present overriding the expression of its recessive allele, while the recessive it is a genetic trait that is expressed only in the absence of the dominant allele. Now, let us understand what is genotype. So, genotype, it is the genetic makeup of an organism consisting of the alleles inherits from its parent. On the other hand, the phenotype, this is the observable traits or characteristics of an organism resulting from its genotype and influenced by environmental factors. A pedigree, it is a diagrammatic representation of a family's genetic history showing the transmission of the traits across generations. The following are the complete picture of genetics. So the first one are the genes and DNA. So these are the fundamental units containing hereditary instructions. The second one is the inheritance patterns. So dominant and recessive traits expression. The third one is the genetic makeup. So these are the genotype that determines the observable phenotype. And the fourth one is the family history. The pedigree struck traits transmission across generations. For the learner's takeaways, let the students create a concept map on how they understand the different concepts and ideas that were discussed on heredity. Let the class present their work in the class and check for misconceptions and clarify challenging ideas. And for the reflection and learning, conclude the lesson with a reflection period where students can share their thoughts and insights on genetic diversity. Encourage students to consider how they can apply their understanding of diversity for future studies and careers in genetic and healthcare. So reiterate the importance of embracing diversity as a fundamental aspect of human genetics and promoting equity and inclusion in genetic research and practice.